A lot of people didn't like it when Games Workshop changed the formula of their shade paints and reduced the size of the pots. So that's why I'm always on the lookout for better and cheaper alternatives. The new deep shade washes from AK Interactive seem promising, but when I put them on a model, the results were not what I was expecting at all. I'm Starly from Tale of Painters and in this review I'll tell you why the deep shade washes might deserve a place in your paint collection nevertheless, especially if you hate the new formula shade paints. The Spanish scale modeling company AK Interactive introduced its new deep shade range in July 2023. These acrylic based washes come in big 30ml pots and are tailored to the needs of tabletop painters. There are 9 colors, featuring various shades of brown and primary and secondary colors, as well as a transparent deep shade medium for thinning. So far, the quality of AK Interactive products has never disappointed me, which is why I have high expectations for the deep shades. But before I test the new washes, I must briefly mention that AK has sparked some shitstorm in the past. However, my channel is about paints and not drama, so you'll need to google that yourself if you feel it might be a concern for you. Back to the washes. The new formula of Siddle Shade is significantly thinner than their old version, which didn't sit well with many people. Therefore, I was hoping for a stronger tint with the deep shades. Whether AK's washes make a good replacement for the old Siddle Shades, we'll find out later, but first, let's take a look at the color palette. <laughs> The first big surprise comes when you take a look at the colors. I have to admit, when I saw the colors online in the product images, I was expecting the same old hues found in most other miniature paint ranges like Siddle or the Army Painter. But nope. As usually, I painted all washes over white prime plastic card and photographed them professionally under neutral 5500K light. And here are all nine colors. Notice something? Carmine Dawn is much brighter and more magenta toned compared to Carabook Crimson. Invocation Purple is quite close, yet slightly more desaturated. Blue Moon is much lighter than Drakenhof Nightshade, it's more of a blue-grey, like Siddle's Fenris Grey turned into a wash. And Green Dark is a vibrant blue-green, noticeably brighter than Celia Green Shade. In comparison to Reichland Flesh Shade, Human Skin is more of a pink salmon color, very unexpected. In fact, Reddish Filth is a more closer match. Hazel Brown is a lighter warm brown shade, less yellowish than Seraphim Sepia. Pure Grime is a dark brown, but more desaturated than Agrax Earth shade. And contrary to what the name suggests, Black Knight is not a pure black wash, but has a warm brownish note. Now, if you need more comparisons, you can get a hand-painted comparison sheet of all acrylic washes from all ranges on my Patreon, which I just updated with AK's Deep Shades, as well as a paint swatch of all contrast and speed paint like one coat paints. As you can see, the color palette is notably different from what we're used to from Siddle, the Army Painter or two thin coats. Is this a good or bad thing? Please tell me in the comments, I would also love to hear your thoughts about the new formula shade paints. Personally, I appreciate that AK didn't just copy the colors from other manufacturers and did their own thing, because you won't find a magenta wash like Carmine Dawn or a grey blue wash like Blue Moon elsewhere, unless you start thinning contrast paints. So far, so good. We have seen a lot of colored squares, but how do they perform when applied to an actual model? Let me show you now. Alright, let's slap those deep shades onto some plastic and find out if they can surpass Siddle's shade paints. First, we have to free them from their screw top prisons. These are the same pots that AK's enamel based washes and paints have and I have to admit I'm not a big fan of them. They're just unwieldy and I would really have preferred dropper bottles. But let's apply some deep shade to a model. To do this, I have prepared this beautiful new Termagant sculpt with white primer. See how the wash spreads on the model and finds its way into the recesses almost by itself? I would say the capillary action is pretty good. Here you see me brushing on deep shade on the left side and Citadel's new formula shade paints on the right. Can you see the difference? Yeah, exactly. The Citadel shades are noticeably thinner. Once the colors are dry, it becomes even more apparent. 
AK's deep shade washes tint the model more strongly, yet the transitions are soft and there is a clear contrast between the bright areas and the darker recesses. Moreover, they are very matte, which I think is a plus, though they can dull metallic paint slightly. And here's the other side of the test model. Check out the finish as sill shade paints can be a bit glossy. In a direct comparison, you can see the shade paints mainly darken the recesses and the overall result is lighter. Whether one or the other is better depends on your personal preference and the effect you want to achieve. In recent years, I've tested all the new releases on the miniature paint market here on my channel and Tale of Painters. Now in comparison, I think the deep shades perform very well compared to other acrylic based washes, especially if you're looking for a wash with a stronger tint and they are quite affordable as they come in big 30ml pots. Therefore, I give them an overall rating of 9, however, as I mentioned earlier, the color palette might not be everyone's cup of tea. Because of that, I want to give you the best alternative options. Okay, you're looking for an alternative to the new formula Siddle Shades that is not as thin and has a stronger tint more like the former versions? First, I would consider the washes from Pro Cruel. They have excellent flow properties and a matte finish, but unfortunately there are only three colors available. However, there's also a fantastic black wash, which is a perfect complement to the AK Deep Shade washes, which don't have a pure black yet. The Army Painter washes are not bad as well, but personally I find them often too glossy. Maybe that will change with the new Warpaints Fanatic range. I plan to do a review soon, so please subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. The YouTube algorithm can do weird things. However, if you're looking for something that matches the tones from the Siddle range as closely as possible, I would recommend the washes from Duncan Rhodes to Thin Coats. Most colors are perfect matches to the Siddle counterparts. They dry matte and in terms of tint, they come pretty close to the formula of the old Siddle shade paints. But what if I tell you that despite all of these options, I still prefer to go with Games Workshop when it comes to washes, despite what other YouTubers might say. I explain why in the video here on the right, in my review of the 2022 Siddle shade paints, so be sure to watch this next and make up your own mind. Thanks and happy hobbying.